Welcome debtors, borrowers, and other attorneys to Bankruptcy Bailout, because debt ruins lives, not bankruptcy. My name is Matt Burkus, Colorado Bankruptcy and Debt Relief Attorney, and today we're going to show you and answer the question, well, what does your attorney do at the 341 meeting of creditors? So here's the quick rundown of what that meeting is. The meeting is an opportunity for the trustee, who is your adversary in the case, to ask the debtor, you, questions about the information you put on your bankruptcy petition. So they're going to verify who you are, verify your identity, put you under oath, and ask you some questions like, did you list all your debts? Did you list all your assets? And maybe some clarifying questions about your specific circumstances. The meeting itself takes all of six to 10 minutes. So the trustee is there to ask the debtor questions. The debtor is there to answer those questions. So what does your attorney do? Now, because of the pandemic, these meetings have been taking place by phone and many districts are probably gonna continue that or switch over to uh, Zoom meetings. So I'm going to show you what your attorney is doing during these 341 meeting of creditors. But first, let's have a little fun and show you what everyone thinks we're doing at the 341 meeting of creditors. Good morning, Matt Burkus on behalf of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And I would just like to add that my clients are the best clients in the world. And Mr. Trustee, we sent you all the paperwork you requested the day after the bankruptcy was filed. If I may just interject for a second, we sent you a current market analysis on about May 24th, and I have a receipt from your file transfer site that we uploaded that to you, Mr. Trustee. And that is how the debtors obtain the valuation of their real estate. Uh, hold on a second. CL6 AFK. Yeah, good morning, Matt Burkus, uh, for the debtors. Yes, Matt Burkus on behalf of the debtors. What the? Yes, Matt Burkus on behalf of the debtors. So I hope that was fun. As far as what we actually do, or what your attorney actually does at the 341 meeting, uh, there isn't really anything for us to do uh, at the meeting. I mean, we're there to support the client, obviously. If the client flubs something, we may uh, try to correct that or point them to the documents where uh, they can find that answer. Sometimes we may need to interject with a few questions to clarify and answer the client gate, but that's pretty rare because the questions are all routine. They tend to be yes or no questions. So did you list all your assets? Yes. Did you list all your creditors? Yes. You know, how did you come up with the value for your house? We got a current market analysis, or I went to Zillow online. 
Um, most, so there's not really a whole lot of substantive questioning that goes on at the trustee meeting in most cases. Now some trustee, trustee meetings can go uh, wildly sideways, but hopefully your attorney has prepared you for that. And if you're prepared, then the meeting won't go sideways. But most of the time, all we're gonna do at the meeting or all your attorney is going to do at the meeting is announce our appearance, uh, say that we represent you, and then we just sit there quietly uh, until the trustee is done uh, with his questions. And then I make it a point to call uh, now that we're doing these by phone, the, these meetings by phones, I make a point to call my clients afterwards and then talk about what happens after the case is filed. But the 95% of the case is done by the time you get to the trustee meeting. So uh, once you're at the trustee meeting, there's not much else to do and there really isn't that much for your attorney, do, attorney to do except be there uh, to support you and be back up in case uh, you forget something or um, are unsure about what sort of answer or about the answer you gave. All right. My name is Matt Burkus, Colorado Bankruptcy and Debt Relief Attorney. I offer free consultations, uh, free phone consultations for the purposes of bankruptcy to residents of Colorado. And I also help people with uh, back tax problems and student loan issues. Best of luck to you.